Hi, my name is Arno, this is the search for subject matter, and today I will show you how to make a drop leg holster for a Nerf Blaster. Okay, first things first, tools. What you will need is a carpet knife, scissors, bull clips of varying sizes, two two millimeter sewing needles. They're usually used for leather, you should be able to find them in the haberdashery pretty easily. Hole punch, a marker, preferably one that wipes off relatively easily, not that it's a problem with the materials we'll be using. A ruler, something with a nice sharp edge so you can make nice sharp lines with your knife. Burner, one of these things, very, very useful. Fire! A small bit of metal. I have been using a drill bit that I warm up to make some holes where the punch can't fit. I think it is a 2.5 millimeter high speed steel drill bit. Bits of wood, roughly the size of one of the side, well preferably the top side of your blaster. That would be for basic molding. I've got two because I do a bit of flattening as well. Then for materials what you will need will be two milk bottles. Hopefully they are the same shape for you. But this plastic, albeit dirty right now, is quite moldable and changeable and we can work with it. First thing you're going to do is you're going to cut one of your bottles this way. You will cut the bottom off like that and then you will cut the handle and the spout off. Let us take our carpet knife. When you cut off the spout, it doesn't have to be beautiful because it will change a bit later on, as you'll see. Take your blaster, in this case it will be a Nerf Disruptor. See if it fits into the space. I have to cut it down the middle so we can trim off and then join it back on later. Doesn't have to be the most beautiful cut. We can start to try and straighten it out. What I'm most concerned with is what's going on up here. I forgot to mention this in the tools section, but you will also need a heat gun. A craft grade one will do just nicely. Okay, so this is what the wood bits are for. So the technique for this is to warm it up and then flatten it out and wait for it to cool. Don't be afraid to blow on it to get it to cool a bit quicker if it's a bit hot in the area. Make sure we get it nice and hot. When the plastic starts changing the way it acts to pressures, that's when you can start to change the shape of it nicely. Make sure it's, you start very early with changing it. Straightening like this, I try to do it for quite a warm it up for quite long because I'll show you now. I mean, it's already starting, starting to go back to its original shape there because of the heat that I've applied elsewhere. It does have a tendency to want to do that. This plastic. got this basic shape. Now what you need to do is open it up a little bit, try and get more of that, this edge here. Remember, it does not need to be perfect. And like when Mr. Ross said, there are no mistakes, there are only happy accidents. Now the magic trick that I'm going to do to try and make this 
and go, oh, I can actually just do that. Hold it up with your other piece of wood just to make your new angle a bit more accentuated. Oh, I get the shape right on this. I do also find it's a bit easier to if you try and plan it out ahead because of the point. I hit the muzzle right at the muzzle it tapers down after that i'll try and make it maybe a bit slightly in there try and make it more figure hugging for the blaster make sure you do it in straight lines there. so do it like that so you try and make it a bit less a bit open a bit tighter at the bottom. Also, so it's easier to slide the blaster in and out of the holster. That's the next. That's the next curve. Remember to constantly okay. fit the blaster, and also this is what your mark is for. Mark where you want to do things if it's becoming a bit more tight. This is where the bull clips come in, so you can start test fitting. Seems like too much space. Tighten it up a bit. Again. When fitting, also make sure that, that you leave a little bit of extra space. A couple of millimeters should do, especially if you're going to line it with something like felt. I can't say enough times how important it is to keep fitting it constantly as you go. You don't want to get to the end and then your blaster doesn't fit. So fit, 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 fit. I just cut a lot of it out, otherwise the video would be about two hours long. Then we can start to punch holes. So what I want to do is do two rows. Let's do. 2.5. So what we want to do is make two rows in this area. Now I checked it, it does touch about here on the inside, so the whole dot there. I'm not measuring out every single hole because I want this to look quite rough, almost as if this is rather hastily put together during the apocalypse. Now, start punching the holes. Next is to make holes for the corresponding side is that I clamp it down and then mark them out first because they have to line up nicely making it much easier to stitch later on. Now fit it again and cut where you feel is necessary if you want to make a second one. This part is not necessary, it just looks really good. Here I didn't use the heat gun to warm it up the bend, I bent it by hand to get more of a round effect to fit the barrel a bit more snugly. Remember to keep fitting it. Take off the little bit of excess that it has here so it folds a bit better and it's easier to work with. Okay, now repeat the steps. Hold it over, make sure you're happy with where it's sitting. Mark off your holes, punch them, then mark through to the other side again, punch those as well. Oh, 
also run them and take it to the little sharp edges so that you can pick your clothes or anything you don't want to. Next is the stitch. It's called the saddle stitch. There are great videos on YouTube on how to do this. This is my little shortened version. Feel free to go and look at those for more information. With a needle on either side of the same piece of string, put it through your first hole. Now, make sure that the string is the same length on both sides. This will help you a lot later on because it will be equal. Put the needle from one side through the second hole. Then take the needle from the other side and put it through the same hole. Now pull tight from both sides. As with any stitch, keep doing this all the way around. There's a link in the description showing the video I learned from. This part of the make is pretty time consuming, so make sure you're in a comfortable space so you can sit and do it for a while. Once you've gone all the way around, you don't have to do the crisscross. I do it because I think it looks cool. I show quite a lot of stitching here because I cut most of the stitching out from the rest of the video. Stitching, 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 stitching. Now finishing off, go back on the previous holes you've done before and then uh, wrap it around and tie it down, it's the best I think. Now that we've learned the stitch, it's time to start stitching the body together using the holes you've already made. While doing the stitching, it's best to try and repeat your actions. Always start with your right hand or your left hand if you're so inclined, but keep repeating it. That way you get much more consistent stitches.
now that the body has been stitched closed you can start trimming off unnecessary edges or sharp edges make sure that it fits properly At this point you'll notice that the body is quite flimsy but there is a solution to this. Cut your second bottle into quarters lengthwise. Take the two longer pieces and flatten them out. Now take the retaining strip made earlier and put it on. That's if you want it there of course. Make sure you pull the stitches nice and tight. Now it's time for the outer panels to make it a bit more rigid. Cut off all the sharp edges and make it nice and round. Wrap it around and hold it in place with some of your bull clips. Start marking. Here I cut off little bits that I didn't want and in some spots I just went around the retaining strip. Now mark all the holes in twos going all the way around. Now punch them holes, wrap it around again, hold it in place with your pull clips and give it a bit of a heat so it keeps that shape easier. Mark out all the holes through the holes that you've made in the outer panel. This just helps you to ensure that your holes will line up properly when you stitch it together. Use a bit of heat just to soften the sharper edges sticking out if necessary. Use your hole punch to punch the holes you can get to with the hole punch. Then, take your drill bit and or piece of metal and start warming it up to make holes around the rest of the places where you can't reach with the hole punch. Please be careful with this, it is fire after all. When doing this, make sure you're doing it in a well-ventilated area because the plastic does sometimes release a bit of smoke from the heat. Now we can stitch them together. I don't show how to do the top panel because they are exactly the same. Just repeat these steps.
Now that the main stitching is done, you can put the crisscrossing on if you so choose. Crisscrossing is easy to do, it's open one hole, use the next, open one hole, use the next, going across the whole time. Most of the battle has now been won. Now it's time to put on all the strapping, things to help you keep it on your body. First is the retaining strap. I put in a clip to make it easier for myself. Remember to use your blaster to make sure that your spacing is correct. Again, mark it out. Here I decided to do some cleanup around the outer edge. Time for some more heated metal. And now stitch on the strap. I decided to line the inside of it with a bit of felt to protect my blast and to maybe hold it a bit more securely. This is how I did it. Here, I'm adding the strap to tie to your belt. Next are the leg straps. These were made for me by magic. Yeah. 
use some glue on the stitching to keep the felt in place. Here I put on some eyelets to make it seem a bit more rounded off and finished. All done. This is my way of making the holster and it seems to be working just fine. I have used them a few times now and they do work quite well. Thank you very much for watching.